Welcome back, guys. Um, yeah, I'm stepping things up a little bit. Now, at the end of the last episode, we had... <clears throat> We got ourselves into a really interesting position. So we got Toxic Fallout. Then we had a Blight, which has killed off all of our plants. And uh, then we got an Electrical Short. <clears throat> so let's deal with that first, shall we? Um, now, I've restricted everybody to indoors. We'll talk about that in a, bit, in a minute. Let's get the fire out first, shall we? Now, the thing is, everybody's asleep except Morbic, who is our, uh, who is our Night Owl. Oh, no, he's not. No, he's not. Who's that night owl, then? Uh, Mace is still up as well, but he's going to go to rest, apparently. Uh, no, you know what, Mace? Where are you? Where are you? I don't even know. Oh, he's, oh, no, he's actually in bed already. Maybe we should get some of these guys up. You guys, wake up. Uh, undraft. What? Well, they draft. I, okay, I'll confuse myself. Uh, but you four, what are you going to go and do now? Yeah, he's not saying anything. Oh, he's going to put his personal shield on. Fine. Oh, but let's see what they do. Okay, so let's. Are you going to go and fight fire? Oh, then see, now they're going to go and fight fires. Mace has woken up and he's going to go and fight fires as well. Right, let's get this fire put out so we don't lose all of our stuff. That'd be kind of nice. Come on, guys, get on with it. There we go, and the fire's out. Excellent. What time is it? Oh, it's five o'clock in the morning anyway. Time to get on with the day's work. So, what what are my plans for the base? Because you can see, there's a lot of mining. A lot of mining. Um, so, yeah, what I've done, I've marked out these areas. And, uh, and the, the, the layout is the same as... Um, like if you look at this area here, right, with these bedrooms, what I've done is laid this out so you've got like four bedrooms here and here, uh, and this will be a corridor in between. So we'll mine this out, get the walls in, and then we'll mine out this central thing. So there will be a one space strip which will be wall uh, and then unmined and wall, um, which. Um, you see, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it now and thinking, yeah, there was a reason that I did it. <laughs> it's it's not the most efficient, but it kind of, I don't know. The thing is, it allows us to do the mining a bit faster. I'm in kind of two, two minds about it now. But, you know, I'm probably going to leave it. We'll, we'll, it's not like we're going to be short of stone after we've mined all of this. So, um... Oh, and Chris is off and running already. Now, our steel situation's got a, a whole load better. Look at all this steel that's lying around. Look at tons of it. Now, I went through, I went through all of our people, and uh, none, of them have, none of them have got more than minor toxic exposure. Oh, they've already got this wall put in. Nice. That's good. Now, over here, there's going to be um, there's going to be a, a corridor going through here, and then there's room for more bedrooms. There's going to be an airlock out to the outside here with multiple doors. Uh, not quite sure what we're going to do up here yet. We'll kind of see. Oh, Bex is putting in that outer wall, which is excellent, and they're roofing this, which is good. Oh, Natalie's going to go and do the last bit. Well done, Natalie. Excellent. All right, cool. So this is uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's right. So this is the inside corridor. So this is all roofed over now. So that's excellent. Man, the, 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 look, the, there's so much mining to do. And of course, they've got the time to do it now. We've got 600 odd. Oh, we've, we've stuck comp struck compacted steel. Sweet, so that's even more steel. Now, let me point out, let's have a look at the, uh, this is raw materials, isn't it? Right, so we've got a thousand steel. Uh, oh, hang on a sec. Uh, we've got a thousand steel sitting out here on this, uh, on this uh, stockpile. <laughs> God, 
Now, hang on a minute. I used to have problems with the word stockpile in Banished, and now I'm having problems with the word stockpile in this game. What the hell? Okay, so, so yeah, we've got a thousand steel sitting there. And then if you go and have a look around the map, we've got... Okay, we've picked up all of that, but we've got another, we've got another load of steel up there. And uh, I thought there was... Ah, yeah, and we've got another load of steel over here. So we've probably got, like, I don't know, like 2,000 steel sitting around. Um, but I'm not going to send them out to get that until uh, until we uh, until we got through the, uh, the toxic fallout. Now, look at all the corpses. Look at all the corpses. All the corpses are rotting. All the animals have died. Like every animal on the map has died. I went and had a look around. I've gone round and already unforbidden them. Right, we've got a new recruit. We've got a new recruit. Who's our new recruit? Gumpy. Gumpy. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at you, Gumpy. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, now see, Gumpy isn't restricted because he's new. Uh, restrict. So the first thing we want to do is restrict Gumpy. So that he doesn't go outside doing stuff like that. What were you going to do? It was to an auto door. Oh, you were going to do that auto door over there. Well, it's very nice of you to think of doing that. But um, actually, no, I don't think we're going to let you do that. No. So let's draft, undraft. And then he'll probably go inside. Oh, shoot. I, I, I say he. Like Gumpy. Uh, uh, come on. It's a guy's name. Okay. But it's a she. Oh, man. Um... You know, I'm gonna, I, well, she's not going to get named in this episode. Let's get everybody, let, let people get on with their jobs. Um, she's not going to get named in this episode. What could, what could Gumpy do? So we'll set her up with these. Doctoring's a definite no. We'll uh, set her up so she can flip switches. Now, what can she do and what's she good at? Um, hunting's a no. What was that? No, just break down. Oh, now, I do need to put that power back in, don't I? Just before I do that, because otherwise I'll forget and that'll be a bad thing. So let's put in this. Now, where did it get shorted out here? But fortunately, oh no, so that is unpowered at the moment. I was going to say, fortunately, it's connected at this end, but it's not. So what we'll do is we'll connect it at that end. We'll start having like multiple circuits and stuff. So for example, let's run a, a cable. Uh, ooh can't put it there okay well I'll have to go there like that so we connect that round there and we'll also connect it round that side as well so that if we get a, if we get a short in here there's, there's multiple routes and then it would kind of make sense to run that down there and connect that to there so that's double rooted ha ha cool and you know what, if we're doing that, now we've got steel. Let's do that. Now, having said that, if we're going to need steel, mind you, we've just hit some steel. So they could use this, but I think it would kind of make sense uh, if we go to zone area. I can let them get on with this now. Then. If we go to um, expand allowed area and we look at area one. So this is the area that they can go in. And it's now expanded, so it covers all of this area. But... There's no outside area, so they can't go outside. How about if we just allow them to go out to the stockpile so they can get a bit of steel? See? Ah, see, Quinter's gone to get a bit of steel, and he's going to go and do a bit of construction work. And we'll get those pack. Oh, see, he's putting in this power cable down here. Excellent. Right. Any more power we want to put in? Let's have a look. Well, yeah, we want another one down here, don't we? To there. This one should be extended, and then it should be hooked up to there. Cool. So we'll have uh, double power all around there. And should we should we run it around there as well? I don't know. It's a tempting idea. Uh, 
Uh, just like th like this cable here. This cable, we should actually get out. Oh, seriously, it just keeps throwing stuff at you. All right. Oh, you're not dying. Right, I'll throw a psychic drone at you. It would really make sense to run a cable up there and get rid of this. So <clears throat> I think at some point we'll knock this wall down and, uh, and replace it with a proper wall and then we can run a power cable up. Am I gonna do that right now? Nah, that's gonna be, this is like the DIY job that never gets done that all the female colonists nag all the male colonists about. You said you were gonna put that uh, proper nice slate wall up in the kitchen. You've never done it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Get over it. Oh, it's sleepy time. Let's crank it up. We've still got people that we could recruit. We've got Macy and Honklebriff. Needs to be re-recruited. And Torres. What's up with, like, what, the, what is the situation with, with Honklebriff? Definitely need to get him back into the fold. Come on, Honkle Briff. Be re-recruited. Join him with some of the work. He's like, nah. Can't be bothered. Um, Mace is wandering around sad. We've got the psychic drone. Oh, that's affecting the women. We've got a turbine down. We've got a plasteel auto door down, and we know about that. Nanny. One of our best miners. Nanny and Raven. Ooh, they're going to crank through this mining. Can't wait to get all of this mined out. It's going to be awesome. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. It's a nice big vein of steel. Oh, we've got an area revealed. Let's have a look at that. Ah, it's only a little one. But we've got a new recruit. Who is it? It's Macy. So we've recruited Macy. Cool. Let's have a look at Macy. I didn't finish Gumpy's work, did I? Um, you know what? Let's let's get them set up first. So he's a four at doctoring. Nah, you're not going to do any doctoring, even though he's got passion for it. It's, we've got plenty of doctors. Uh, let's see. Wardening. Yeah, you know what? I don't mind you doing some wardening. That's fine. Uh, animal handling. No, I don't think we'll have your animal handling. Now. You can you can haul and you can clean, so that's good. Now, what about mining? That's the kind of the important thing right now. Yep, you can do some mining. You could do some mining. So you know what? That's what you're going to be doing. You can, I guess, clean and you can haul. Actually, no. You know what? That's flicking. That's misogynistic of me, isn't it? No. You know what? The um, the girl can haul and the guy can clean. There we go. That's better. I did, like I didn't do that deliberately. I like whether it's like some kind of. I don't know. She's got a passion for that. You can do crafting as well. What about? Uh, yeah. Do I, uh, nah. Just just general crafting. Well, uh, what about construction? Oh, you can do construction. Yeah. Let's crank you up with that. Right now, get on with it. So um, yeah, next episode. Before the next episode, I'm gonna have to go and look at all the. Uh, look at all the names. Because there's a whole bunch of names I need to add to the list. There's loads of people. There's, there's loads of people want to get in on this though. Um, whoa! The worst of the to the toxic fallout is over. Who freaking Ray? Right. So. Whoa! 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 whoa. We've got ancient danger. Ooh! Now. This is very, very, very good. See this wall? This is a wall here. This is actually a wall. And um, behind here, so like somewhere, there's going to be a big room, and in it are going to be mechanoids. <laughs> so we'll um, we'll let them carry on. We won't. Oh, we've got we've got more steel down here. Excellent. That's really good news. Oh, righty. We've got... The thing is, with all the steel that we've got, we could now extend our, our hydroponics. But we can let them outside now. You know, I, you know, I almost don't want to let them outside because I want them to get on and actually do this because I'm really excited about the base. Uh, what should I do? What should I do? God, just look, look. I mean, there's all these corpses to be hauled and stuff. You know, I'm going to let them carry on for a little bit, I think. Uh, actually, I'll tell you what I could do. Tell you what I could do. What I could do 
is because the only th- kind of really the only important thing outside we've still got like a thousand meat right so hunting's not that desperately important what we do need to do is replant so how about if i say uh what do we want we want expand allowed area area one if i allow them into this area so if i allow them out into this area so, okay so you can go out there and you can go into the animal area so that which means that they can replant the hay which wouldn't be a bad idea and you know what i'm going to let you go into this area over here as well like god knows why i was going to plant up some more hay and I, I, I am kind of thinking it might be an idea to just extend this slightly because like what's our hay situation nah no you're kidding we've got three and a half thousand hay no we're not extending that <laughs> apparently we've got more hay than we know what to do with right so carry on guys but they can now go outside so hopefully we should see nanny and raven and oh and cubicle and whatever going out here right they're going out to feed the animals taking them some kibble why are there some frag grenades there okay let's have a look at this stockpile well try that again yeah it should uh no oh okay god knows why that's like that that should be the same as this one okay so let's uh copy Go to this one and paste. There we go. Right, that should get moved and uh, removed and, and replaced with kibble now with a bit of look. Somebody going to move that? Yeah, they'll probably get onto it eventually. Right, that auto door. Is that auto door going to be powered? I hope so. Oh, something else that I was thinking of doing. Because um, we've got Ugly Bob over here. Um... I want to. I want to build a nice, like proper sarcophagus. Oh, look at this! The guys are out planting in force. Sweet. Let's have a look at this corn. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, now what? Who's gone? What? Sky's gone berserk. Oh, Sky. Oh, now I spotted something. Look at this. Look at this. I meant to show you this. He's got a bite scar from a squirrel in his left eye. And it's weakened his sight. So we need to get him a bionic eye. Like, freaking ASAP. Um, there's own Oh, God. Hang on. How the hell did they get in there? Have they gone in and then been walled in? I think they have, you know. Oh, no wonder Sky's upset. Okay, that's not good. We need to we need, definitely need to get this mined. Um Oh, if he's not a miner. Oh no! That's not good. That seriously, that's not good. Vogue cover. Uh, go over there and mine. See if you can see if we can leave Sky alone, but I don't think he I don't know, he's Yeah, he's kind of just wandering around at the moment. No, mine mine this one. Let's get you through here so we can get out. Because you're trapped in here with a berserk maniac. No mind that. Uh I should get somebody else mining from the other side. Who can Creepy Sam, can you mine? Let's have a look. Yeah, mine that. No, if I cover. Prioritise mining. Well, no. Yeah, mine that. What the hell? Where's Creepy Sam? Yeah, come on, Creepy Sam. Get on with it. Uh, Vogue cover. Forget the wall. Mine, the, mine that. What the hell? He's trying to sleep. No, don't sleep. Mine that. And... Creepy Sam, stop running away. Where the hell are you? Oh, there he is. God, they're so high to micromanage. Right, there we go. And... 
Vokova is going to try and sleep again. No, you can sleep once you've got through here. You can sleep in your own bed. Oh, oh no, Creepy Sam, don't go that way. Mind that. No, oh, Vokova. Yeah, I don't suppose we can get them mining the same one. Nah, uh, you know what? We'll let him finish that. And now, Vokova, let's let's wake you up. And you should go back to your own bed now with a bit of luck. There, there we go. There we go. And Sky can be left to wander like Gollum in the in the mines, going slowly mad <laughs> with his assault rifle. Uh, no, that's not. He's got a charge rifle. Oh, he did have a charge rifle. Yeah, oh, he's got it. Oh, he's, he's, look, he's looking for targets. I'm amazed that he didn't shoot Vokova. Like, I'm really surprised. Now, tomorrow morning, everybody's going to come up here and try and mine, and they're going to get shot. Oh, no, he's... Oh, good. He's, his mental break's over. Go and get something to eat. Good, good, good. Fancy walling them in here. That was not very nice, was it? Right, should we speed things up? I think we should speed things up. Oh, he's hopped into bed with Nanny. That'll make him happy. Uh, they can't complete this wall, really? Yeah, I'm sure they can, actually. I don't know. Maybe they can't. Well, what have we got now? Oh, mad animal. Let's have a look at this. Oh, we've got a mad raccoon. Yeah, we'll see. Just come down here and get shot, will you, out of the way? Yeah, he did. And now we've got a heat wave. Oh, hooray. <laughs> oh, good. I'm so happy. Seriously, the game's just like, right, what can we throw at him next? Let's throw this at him. What about if we do this to him? Okay, we can, um, we can turn these on so that at least we've got some cool air coming into the place. Um, I think it's kind of important that we actually get a door in over here. Because I'm pretty sure that this is open to the outside. But you know what? They should do that fairly quickly. I, I'm just going to let them get on with it, I think. What's Artie going to go and do? Yeah, he's going to finish that. Uh, yeah, they've yeah they've put the roof in. Good. So what's the temperature here? Temperature here, 22. Temperature outdoors is 33, 34. Indoors, 24 degrees. In here, 24. 25. Let's go and check the bedrooms. 26. Now, in Alpha 15, um, it's changed quite a lot. Uh, bases like this, if, if you're under a mountain, there's a natural cooling effect, which is, you know, that's what you would expect. I mean, caves are much, much cooler than the outside, and heat doesn't permeate into them. But we're, obviously, we're still on Alpha 14. So, yeah, not quite so easy. Now, I have been looking at uh, a possible method of converting Alpha 14 to Alpha 15. If I can get it to work properly, uh, I might do that. But I also want to start a new series with Alpha 14. The thing is, this is so cool that, like, I want to do this old thing. And I don't want to lose all these people. I've become attached to all these people. So I, that's why I haven't upgraded to Alpha 15. I'll see. I'll see if we can't get, like, upgraded to Alpha 15 at some point. How we do it? Uh, we've got somebody, uh, creepy Baumies in a psychotic state. Great. We've got a hydroponics base and broke down wind turbine. Okay. Now, we've got all of our plants planted up. And they can look after the plants and stuff. The animals are being fed. I suppose at this point I could, you know what, I could let the, um, I could unrestrict the animals at this point and let them go and do hauling and stuff. That would be a very good idea. I, pr I probably should have done that before. In fact, I should. I'm covering myself. Saying probably. I should have just done it before. We've got Burley. 
Husky puppy. Let's get him trained. Um, he could stay in animal area one with the other puppies. And then the boom rat and those guys stay there and the grizzly bears can go anywhere. Now, what this should mean is that the, the animals can go out and haul all of these corpses and stuff from around the place. And haul things like the steel and whatever, which would be very cool. Uh, a bit more mining to finish off. Now, somebody did point out that I completely messed up the way that I did the mining. And they're absolutely right. I should have done these. I sh these should be too wide. Right? Because you can see, obviously, from both sides. So, there was no reason to do every other one. It should have been every, every, every other, other one. So, there you go. But, I don't care. How's things going? So, we got one of these areas mined out. Macy's having a sleep down there. What else is going on? Uh, they got most of this done. They got into here. They found this steel. So, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And now we've got a raid. Uh, let's see. It's not a big raid. Now, they're up there. They're probably going to come through here, aren't they? But they could go over here. I'd really like them to go over here because, obviously... We don't have much of a defense over here. We've got like one plasteel gun, which is at 99. Um, so that's not going to last. We do have a bunch of traps, but th these aren't finished. These round here as well. So those need to all be set to auto rearm. And we should manually ask them to be manually rearmed as well. I suppose, guys. There's another corpse there that needs to be f unforbidden. I suppose we should probably see where these guys are going to go. Should we see where they're going to go? Let's see where they're going to go. Because if they're going to come through here, it's not so much of a problem. Now, where are our people? So I've just re unrestricted the animals, and then we get this. So these guys are going to come through here and not step in it on any traps. So, there's just that one gun. These guys are coming down here. Oh, so they're going to come into here. Good. This guy's coming down here into this area. Why isn't that gun shooting? Why the hell wasn't that gun shooting? Uh, let's go and have a look at these guys. Oh, here we go. Oh, pff, man. Come on, guns. Yeah, he's down. I don't think these two will last much longer. And if we... Yeah, and now they're going to break and run. Yeah. He's almost toast. And... we got one guy running away over there. Oh, that guy got killed. Ha! <laughs> awesome. Let's unforbid his... So that raid was pretty easy to deal with. What I'm now thinking about is, like, where's Ben... Oh, Ben's there. You know what, Ben? Go. Uh, actually, I'm going to draft you. And I'm going to say, get up to there. He's moving really slowly through there. Now, Ben's got his speed buff. He should be able to whiz through here. Although he's not going very fast at the moment. This, guy, this, I mean, this guy's really moving, considering he's not badly injured. Okay, <clears throat> let's pause it there. Ben, I want you to melee attack that guy. But you, I don't know. The chances of you catching that guy... Uh, oh, I don't know. He's closing. He's closing in. Oh, he's closing in quite rapidly as well. Oh, go, go, go. He's going to get him. He's going to get him. He'll probably kill him, though. Knowing Ben. He's a bit brutal, Ben is. Yeah, see. He's a bit... Yeah, he's just a bit brutal. I suppose... I suppose there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, let's unforbid the corpse. And, Ben, you can do whatever you feel like doing. Yeah. 
You should at least go and like, I don't know. Can you call that? Uh, it's outside the allowed area. Shall I unrestrict people at this point? I think it's probably time to unrestrict people. Let's just let everybody do what they want to do. So if I undraft you, what are you going to do? He's going to... Oh, come on. Do something useful. At least, like, haul that corpse. Yeah, come on, haul that corpse. Alrighty. Still got the rest of this steel to be mined out. Obviously, there's now tons and tons and tons of mining that people can be getting on with. Um, and because we've got so much steel now, and we have actually got like quite a lot of steel now, we've got like 3,000 steel, we can extend our hydroponics if we want to, which I think might be a nice idea. The other thing I wouldn't, wouldn't mind doing is, um, is, it, is continuing to expand the kitchen area. So I think we'll do that. And I did kind of wonder if, if we extend this out here, because I've got this set up for bedrooms at the moment, but maybe we have like a dining room here with access from here, right? And, uh, and have another airlock into here so that people from who, people who are in this area or kind of up here don't have to go all the way down here to have something to eat. They can go to a dining room here. It's an idea. It's an idea. But I also did think about having like a dining room, I don't know, maybe up here. And then just having um, just a, you know, a little stockpile, like like maybe just one space or two spaces and uh, set it to critical for food, uh, for meals, so that uh, meals will just get dumped in there. So people can just grab it and then they don't have to go all the way over here. Because the thing is, the base is getting big now. I mean, it is, it is a long walk to get from one side of the base to the other. So, yeah. Lot to do. I am freaking loving this. Um, they're on slow at the moment. Let's just speed it up. Creepy's wandering around with no clothes on, which he's no doubt dumped somewhere. Because he's a bone. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here is all these clothes. Let's... Unforbid that, unforbid his jacket, unforbid his rifle, unforbid that. Uh, one other thing that I really probably should do is go through everybody and get them equipped with weapons. Oh, now, what the hell just happened there? We've got somebody having a mental break. We've got the colonist needs treatment. I wonder if this is for heat stroke. What are you guys all doing in there? Oh, what the hell is this? Malari, fleeing in panic. Oh, what the hell? Um, let's draft you, Premier. Oh, let's try that again. Uh, melee attack him, Ben. No, I don't need to do that. Ah, draft, melee attack, Quinton, draft, and melee attack. Go on, guys, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yeah, Ben. Sneak out the other side. You can cut him off. Quick. Quick, 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 quick. Whoa. Captain Jack. Stop being a chicken. Go on, Malia, attack Malari. Oh, there we go. We got him. We got him. We got him. That'll teach you. Oh, he's got a charge rifle. No, he hasn't any more. Right. You two can be undrafted. Undraft that. And draft that now, Cap. Yeah, you've got your charge rifle, Captain Jack. You've only got a pump shotgun. I think he should have a charge rifle, don't you think? Yeah, equip the charge rifle. Boom. Oh, we've struck compacted machinery. Uh, where is that? Okay, let's mine that out. Uh, that looks like yeah, that's compacted machinery as well. We'll mine that out as well. Cool, sweet. Let's go back up here. Where was that guy that we were dealing with? He's up here. So, is there anybody else that could do with a weapon up there? Nah. Nah, it's fine. All right. You know what? We're going to leave it there for this um, for this episode. I think there's um, there's obviously a ton of recovery work to get through the whole. Uh, to, you know, recover from the toxic fallout. We still do need to get 
this defensive position up properly. But the one thing we're short of at the moment is plasteel. So, I don't know. I could put just put some regular steel guns in here. But the, the way we could get some more plasteel would be to mine through this wall and let the mechanoids out. And that would give us that. So, I don't know. What do you think? Maybe the next episode? Maybe uh, unleash the mechanoids? I think it could be fun. You know what, guys? We'll leave it there. I'll catch you for the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. This is getting awesome. Peace out.